Hi everyone, I'm excited to tell you that .easy Hosting has partnered up with Website.com. All .easy Hosting plans include the Website.com drag and drop site builder for free. Some of the benefits of using Website.com through .easy are you can easily create a website without any coding experience. Just click, drag and drop. You can quickly create a website with the latest web design technology and trends. You can get inspired by hundreds of professional designer made templates. You can also spice up your site with thousands of stunning and professional stock photos. Depending on your hosting plan, you may be able to access the mobile editor, where you can quickly create a mobile optimized version of your site. You can try it out and see for yourself. If any time you would like to switch back to using .easy, you can do so with one simple click in the member zone, which I will show you in this video. If you already have an existing site and you're building an updated site with the website.com site builder, your existing site will be up and running. There's definitely no reason for you to rush through designing your website. Just publish it whenever it's ready. Everything is streamlined. So to begin, we're logged in to our .easy member zone. Right now, I already have a .easy website made with WordPress. This is my existing site. While I'm building an updated site with the website.com site builder, this site will still remain up and running. Once you're in the member zone, you can click on this button here that says start now, it's free to open up the site builder. You can go ahead and click OK. Now I'm just going to choose a template. So I'll go with Zen Chiropractic. You can see here that we have a message that says choosing a new template will remove your existing site builder content. This does not mean that it will remove your .easy website. All it means is that in the future, say I was to change my template from my Zen Chiropractic template, it would remove the content on the Zen Chiropractic template. And we can skip this tour right now. So I'll quickly go over showing you how to add just a couple of elements to this web page. So you can easily add elements by going over here to the sidebar and clicking on the add section. And say we wanted to add an image, we could click image and then image. And we'll just go stock image. And how about we take this image of the tomatoes and you can see it's on my cursor. So I'll scroll down and how about I just click and drag and put it there. You can also add text elements easily as well. So I can go back over to add, choose text, and say I wanted to add a title. I can choose title and you can see it's right there on my cursor. For more tutorials on how to use the website builder, you can look at the top of the builder. You can use this search FAQs button right here to browse popular topics or type in a question. Or you can take a look through the website.com YouTube channel, which is located right here. When your site is done and you're ready to publish, go to publish at the top of the page. You can click all pages and here you'll see two options. One that says publish and redirect and the other that says no, just publish. For the first option, the site you've just created with the website.com site builder tool will be displaying on your domain name. With this option, in our case, this means that if I go to my domain name, sampledomain.com, I will now see the lovely and newly built chiropractic website. If you choose the second option, just publish, you will only publish the content of this beautiful design. This means your domain will still display the existing .easy version of your website. In our case, that would be the WordPress website I showed earlier. The reason why this option is great is because it provides you an opportunity to see your latest design in a real URL, but your domain will not be affected. If I choose this option now, you can view your website with websitebuilder1.easy.com slash sampledomain.com. This way, you can browse this published site in any browser or even test it with a mobile phone to see if you really like it. If you're happy, then you can log in to the member zone and make the switch there. Regardless of the option you've chosen, note that the actual web content stored on your original website will remain intact. For example, say I have a nice image stored on my WordPress site, like this image of this man right here. If I decided to switch to the website.com version in the future, if I change my mind and switch back to the WordPress version, this image will still display without any issues. So right now, since I'm very happy with the new design I have with website.com, I will choose the first option, which is yes, publish and redirect. After clicking this button, you are basically done. 
Note that you won't see the switch right away though. If you type your domain into the browser at this point, you will still see your domain displays your existing content, which in our case is the WordPress version of our website. And this is due to DNS propagation. Normally, the DNS propagation takes up to 24 hours. All you need to do is sit back and wait until your domain is pointed out correctly to the website.com version of your website. If, after 24 hours and your domain is still pointing to your old version of your website, please contact our support and we are happy to help. Note that switching back and forth between .easy and website.com during this time will delay this process. Please be patient for the changes to take effect. Another tip for you, in the future, if you don't want your domain pointing to the website.com version of your website, you can switch back to your original .easy version of your website by logging into the member zone. You can click the switch back to .easy button. Your domain will then point back to your original version of your website. Again, you will need up to 24 hours to see the results. One last thing before we wrap up this video, your email hosting will remain the same. So that means whether you are using website.com to build your website or keeping an existing version of your website, your email services will remain the same. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to let us know.